Mr. Isaac are here to talk to you about your sexual and reproductive health. It's been so long since I did it. But hi guys and welcome back to Wako's Review, the only reviewer that is owing the government tax. And if you would like me to pay it off, all you just have to do is like this video, comment and also share it with a friend. And don't forget to subscribe. Alright, just like old times, roll intro! <laughs> has always been a show that first tries to educate using entertainment as its medium. It's like Barney and Friends. You do not think about it that way, Bab. It's been so long since we got a new season of Sugar and I'm hopeful that this lives up to our expectations. So let's review the episode. It starts off in a confusing way. We see a man dancing at his wedding and we start asking ourselves, is this a progressive wedding? Is, is, is he marrying one of these men? Is, is this MTV Sugar South Africa? <laughs> Nope! His wife is not just interested and because of this she runs away. And at this point we don't know why she would leave him hanging, then we go back in time to fully explain why she did so. Her name is Mohini, but we will call her Mo and I can't pronounce her name consecutively. <laughs> Have you noticed that Mo's cooking has improved since she came home from the university? And she comes from a family of five. I hope that's her family because I've never heard an evil person named Mohini in my life. She has a sister called Ifunaya and a brother named Kachi and this family is as Igbo as you can get. They fight over Akara and if that's not an Igbo thing to you, let's just say they are not just um, um, in time socially. Let your brother have it. Hmm? Kachi is a growing boy. Look, it's only a greedy woman that eats the same portion as a man. You see, Mo is a uni student and also a feminist that doesn't believe that marriage should happen fast, but rather it should happen when both parties are ready. And she's not ready. But the sad thing about what I just said is that she comes from a very conservative family. No one is hearing that. Cho, cho, cho. People will think that I'm not giving you the correct home training. Or is this how you are going to be behaving in your husband's house? Okay, back to our hungry siblings. They both attend this school named Kuramu. It sounds like an anime school, right? <laughs> okay. And if you know MTV Sugar, this is where everything would go down with diverse characters that all have intertwined stories. Last season, they used this school and it wasn't bad, but the uniform was depressing. I kept asking myself, is, is this the prison? Is that why they are always fighting in every episode? This school is better only because of the uniform. And what is Sugar without a random sex education from nowhere? Is it better to use two condoms while having sex in case one tears? Some boy! No, it is not. Two condoms does not equate better protection. That's why I wear three. <laughs> Guys, I'm joking. Please do not take my advice. It's a joke. Please do. I beg. Mo's sister Ifunaya is not as holy as her sister would want her to be. She's seeing this guy called Body. Obviously, he's not in the same age bracket with her. And don't get me wrong, we know nothing about this man. But I know he's an old, desperate man because anyone that uses three heart emojis and three kiss emojis is obviously starving for women. I know these things, guys. They also have a brother's love interest named Chika, aka Sanitizer Man. Don't worry, you will know why soon. A common theme in this show so far is that all the families have troubles. For Chica, her mom is a conspiracy theorist. She doesn't believe the 19 happened. And this is extremely bad and also funny because her husband died from the same disease. So I cannot speak freely in my own house again. You're denying the 19. It happened. The 19. It happened then. You killed daddy. You were there, you Chica. I don't have time for this rubbish this morning. Honestly, Chica should know better because it's too late for her mom. Anyone that sends a three minutes voice note is neck deep into conspiracies. They are far gone, no one can help them anymore. But Chica isn't completely sane, don't get it twisted, the band fans. Remember, she is the sanitizer. Since the loss of her father, she made it a big deal to protect the streets from the 19. One of her ability is in a two mile radio, she's able to sense anybody that has not sanitized their hands. And she runs to them and she tries to sanitize their hands. My name is Kachi. Sanitizer, man! 
Then we have Y Hope. I pride myself in being a fan of MTV Sugar, but was this in the previous season? Someone should help me out. It's not like I'm a reviewer, guys. What is Y Hope? It's it's a club. No, it's a hub. It's like for Gen Z. It's boot club and hub. The last person that ran this business died and Sheila took over. Anyway, next up is Sheila, our new administrator. So she took over from Anfalake who passed away, sadly. We all know Sheila. She's like that old man in Charlie's Angels. No one knows much about her life, but we know we will see her in the movie. Why hub social media manager extraordinary? <laughs> This is their social media rep, Halil. All I know about her is that she has a shoulder injury and she talks to people like she's making a YouTube video for kids. In y Hub, we get to see some characters from the last season, Wasio and Simi. They now work for y Hub, and if you don't know much about them, they were in love, something like that. And he gave her something that she did not want. The episode ends with Mo getting a shock of her life. The guy we see in the early stages of the episode came back to formally ask for a hand in marriage and she doesn't know him from Jack Robinson. No more uni for her. How did it go for a first episode? My one issue with Sugar has always been that they try to educate and I guess that is the price we have to pay to enjoy a show. But I just feel sometimes, you, you know what I mean. <laughs> Can't wait to see what Naya's man looks like because I'm very interested. I don't even know who Sanitizer Man would fight next. What do you expect? Drop it down in the comment section. I believe Wasu would be on Demon Time. And I pray he doesn't do anything funny. Like ban me. <laughs> I had to end it this way, guys. How do you expect me to end the show?